fellas, it's that time, unfortunately. Okay? You're welcome. So we gotta say goodbye till the next time, okay? Come on. Where's the guy? Oh, you first? Mm -hmm. There was a time in the past that they would ask me all the time, why can't you come with us? Why, you know? And, you know, as, as a small child, they don't know. They don't realize what's going on. And it's, it's really hard to give them an intelligent answer because they can't grasp that you're in prison and you're incarcerated. You can't come with them. Yeah. Sometimes I do have mixed emotions, like when I'm excited, like I'm going to see him, like, yeah. And then at the end of the visit, I'll get real sad because I got to leave and then I have to leave him there. And then it's like, you wish he can go home with you. Okay? It's sad because we get to leave and he doesn't. Okay, Nikki. All right. The main thing is that I know that they love me. That is the main thing. Inside, it's almost unbearable to leave a parent behind. But they have no choice. It's something that they just must do. No one wants to say the last goodbye. Everyone wishes things were different. The hardest part is saying goodbye to him and waving. It's hard saying goodbye, you know, especially seeing them look back and that this, you know, that, that, you know, that hurt, you know. It's, it's, it's hurtful, it is. As emotional as a visiting day may be, it's one of the few ways that kids and parents can keep in touch. And families that stay connected during difficult times have a much better chance of surviving the crisis. But every family is different, and every child who's living without a parent has his or her own way of looking at it. Here are three books with different perspectives that can help us all understand better, but you don't have to take my word for it. I'm Tempest. I just finished a great book. It's called Mama Loves Me from Away. It's about a little girl and her mother. One day the mama went away. She went to prison and then everything changed. The little girl lived with her grandmother. She missed her mom a lot. I can relate to this book because when I was little, my dad was in prison, but now he's out. This book really got to me because I realized that this happens to other kids. My full name is Gabrielle Jordan Brown, and I just read this very serious book called Let's Talk About When Your Parent Is In Jail. It said that true friends would treat you the same way, no matter if your parent went to jail or made a bad choice. My favorite part of the book was the last chapter, which was life after jail. It was definitely the most interesting, and it told you how your family will treat your parent after prison. I deeply recommend this book for you. My name's Damien Crispin, and I've just read Finding the Right Spot. Finding the Right Spot is about a young girl and her mother. The little girl in the story's mother can't take care of her because she's an alcoholic and she drinks too much. Her social worker took her away from her mother and put her into foster care with a woman that she calls Aunt Dane. When she goes to live with Aunt Dane, Aunt Dane decides that she needs a best friend, and she gets a dog named Jake. At first, when the dog and the little girl don't know each other very well, the dog won't let her pet him. She starts petting him in different places, and she finds the right spot. In the end, they became great friends. I think it enabled me to understand what kids in foster care go through every day. Hopeton Gooden is nearing the end of his sentence. In a few months, he will come home. His return will mean big changes for everyone. Before I go to sleep, I'm thinking about what's the next day going to be like and how life is going to be when my dad comes home. It'll be hard to get used to waking up every morning 
with my father and my mother in the room. Although they are uncertain of how things will be with Hopeton back, they are sure of one thing. The separation has not destroyed their love for each other, only strengthened it. Something positive that has come out of this is that my whole family has learned to stick by each other's side and try to be there for each other. Even with dad at home, the Goodens will face many challenges, and there will be some big ones. The boys will have to deal with the stigma of having been a prisoner's kid, and that people will assume they're going to follow in Hopeton's footsteps. I want to be looked upon as a good kid. I don't want to be put in a different category from everybody else because I have a parent in jail. I'm the same as everybody else. Kids are never responsible for the mistakes that their parents and family members make, and they shouldn't be treated badly because of it. We should never let prejudice or misunderstanding keep us from seeing people as they are. A prisoner's kid is just a kid who needs friends who can listen and understand. And who knows, maybe someday that friend might be you. I'll see you next time.